Oh everybody, by the way, it is 6-2 on a Sunday and we're pulling honey today and extracting honey and with that. We're gonna do this just real gently and real slow. You gotta be shitting me. Did I already get stung in the neck? Yes, you did. That strap pushed him up against your neck. Mm -hmm. Terry, there's at least sort of a brood pattern here now. Yeah. And there wasn't before. Is she out? Yeah, she's not in there. It's really balling up on right there. There's some larva. Okay, okay. See her, right here. Right there. Cool. Good with that? I think the next time we're here, for it. you should probably bring, I think I would bring a feeder. Okay. And you feed, super feed, on top? no. You want to pull two of these? Well, you, what you could do is you could bring a feeder with another hive body and with open frames and feed feed a second hive body yeah. and let them let them work this let them fill, make out frames keep feeding them let them build up until we get ready for brazilian pepper right. Set it right there no oh i'll pop them you You know, you just brush them in front of the hive. Yeah. Look at that. Get you? God damn it, Terry. Get your shit together. This is what, how you piss off the bees. Look at them frames, folks. So, if we get any bigger, if we get any bigger, we're going to have to go with fume boards, bee go, and a backpack sprayer. Take a one suit, you know, a whole super off at a time. All right, we're over at my hives with Brandon and all these things are working <laughs> I'm happy wow <laughs> they got her glued down to, oh my god <laughs> oh my lord that's a beautiful thing <laughs> look at that oh that's the swarm you caught that that's was, a swarm that was a big swarm oh <laughs> Pissed off. How about that for a frame? This is a good way to make sure uh, make sure your queen's not up in the top. couple of these. Huh? 
money's about to run out the other side, so I want to lay that one just like that in that tote. Okay. I'm going yep. to trade you. All right. Okay guys, I want to show you this better comb from the Better Bee. All these Honey Supers had better comb in it. And this is how it comes. Preformed. The bees don't have to do the work. So if you got a honey flow, you don't miss any of your honey flow. Look at this orange blossom honey. Every one of these Better Bee combs, or better combs, are completely full and capped. This is where you find out how many hive beetles you really have. I didn't see hardly anything. The older the the older the comb, the thicker they wax they put on it. Okay. And that's when it becomes a problem. Then you have to use a knife or something. Okay. Well, I saw one of yours that looked like it had really thick wax. Yes, it was a comb. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Wow! Now I can see the honey when I see the light. Now, see, we'll do this. What you can get to. Look at that. See, we can't. So you just stay pretty much flush. You just you flush with the wood. With the wood. And you try to tilt it just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna have to. We'll try the roller. Excellent. That's just to finish it up. You just, here, just, you want to stick it down in there? I've never put one in here, so I don't. It just sits there, I guess. Wow. Okay. I like it. It's pretty heavy. Yeah. Oh, you try to pick up that tote. So I put that screw on there, and you see I put these. Yeah. You, are you going live? Yeah, go ahead. You just go ahead. Uh. I put these notches in here mm -hmm. so the honey doesn't run out. Okay. All right, see, I've already got a wax and a piece of honey on the floor. Wipe it down. And you're going to, what's going to end up, we'll be tracking out all over your house and driveway. And... Don't worry. You just said so, I got it. All right. I'll adjust this here. I'm, gonna, I'm just getting this higher. Just do whatever. This is kind of a one man show anyway. Remember, start. cold water. Cold water for wax, hot water for honey. You ready? Yep. What can we do with the wax? So, we'll let it drain. Uh, and then once it drains for two or three days, we can freeze it. Mm -hmm. Then, if you want to look up how to render wax, you can because it takes a double boiler uh, and screens, but there's a lot of YouTubes on it, and it's a it's just a process. When you have nothing else to do in your life, mm -hmm. you can render wax. See, the more the more wax will you leave, the less wax they have to put back for the next time. So now you're set for the next time. That is just I'm telling you, that's bee porn right there, guys. Here. That. That's, that's bee porn, really. Super thick. That's Super just... thick. So what's going to happen is when you bottle this, mm -hmm. unless you keep it just a little bit warm, it's going to granulate on you, turn cloudy. Yeah. Then to ungranulate it, you just put it in a pan of warm water warm it up. for a long time. Do not microwave honey because it destroys all the enzymes and all the good things. Oh, okay. They need to fit... Also, you're going to get when you get stung is right now. Right. Because you're not looking and right. you put your finger right on the dang bee. Hey, Terry, Lisa wants to know. Come on and show her. Let show her what he's doing here. Okay. You see, they, they packed that honeycomb full of honey right there. And that is cappings on top. And that one's not completely capped off, but it's close. Is the other side capped completely? It's com no. No, it's not. This so isn't. What he's doing is breaking the wax or cutting it off the top. 
and we'll put it in this extractor here and this thing starts goes spinny spinny and honey goes flingy flingy and then it comes I like hey that. Yolanda Pokey Sassy Debbie that, that's called a hive beetle. hive beetle we don't have many of those but there was a few we so kill they, they kill the bee or something no they will not kill the bee and the bees can't kill them because they got a hard outer shell uh -huh. but if you get enough of them in a weak hive if you get enough of them in a weak hive uh, they can overtake your hive with la larva and slime your whole hive. It's a, I saw the first one in Jackson County, Missouri, slimed hive, and you no, basically you have to burn the whole it's hive. Sort of, there's, so that's what, sort of controlled. You know, he's got the last frame in there now, so we're gonna we're gonna spin this baby up. Take, you can take another little close up on them stingers in case oh, somebody yeah. look, in case somebody missed the video. Yeah, look at the stingers on this GoPro. He did GoPro video, which will be on his YouTube channel. This is Terry O'Brien and TikTok. They don't like the color black. Look at right now. Look down in here. There's a screen down in there, and that all the honey that's with that wax will run down through there, and there's a valve in the end of that. That is a homemade uncapping tank right there. Okay. We have 18 frames here. I'm sorry. Now, that's the palmetto over there. You have to be careful scrubbing too much, because okay. what'll happen is you'll get wax into your honey. Okay. But as long as you let the honey sit for a while, Anything that's bad raises oh, right to, the to the top, and you're well, bottling. That's a, that's a double. And you're bottling from the bottom, mm -hmm. so oh. you're good. Hello, New York. Good morning, Eugene, Jeffrey. Good morning, Terry. I think we made a good choice here on our extractor. I'm, I'm, I like everything about it. It's not even hot. It ain't. Well, I ain't got her up yet, but no. We finished up, bees, they finished up Brandon's tanks. hives. And, I mean, uh, they've got it all, and I love this. This is the rest I, of Brandon's I talk to the owner extensively about this thing. So now I'm going to get ready to He's approachable, decap. You know, and he called me back. Decap he my one hive body super and all my super frames. I've got about three boxes here. He's doing this a little slow. A uh, super railroad, absolutely. Look at that. Again, this was a hive. This was a brood soup, brood hive body, right. and I used it as a super because my hive was weak early. So I just decided to put a queen excluder underneath it between the two hive bodies. That'll make, that'll right make the, now, look at that, that. look at that oh, one oh, piece. Look at that, that is just, that's porn. That's bee porn. Ooh wee. I just had a bee gasm. <laughs> well, another 10 years Ooh, you won't right. have to worry about any of it. <laughs> I'm, gonna try, I'm gonna spin her up guys. Oh, 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 I wish we had a scale to weigh that. Now, this is where it comes, this extractor comes in big handy, it'll hold nine deeps. Agree with that? What it needs to have is two shelves. There you go. One for shorts. Right. And split the difference. There you go. For, for, a, for a deep. Needs to have two shelves underneath it. Besides the besides the bottom shelf, there needs to be one a third and one two thirds. Oh, baby! Look at this. Now you hear some real honey porn. Look at this. That is just fantabulous. I've lost comments, guys, and I don't know why. But I'm gonna get my water out. Ooh, daddy! That's the way gentleman that owns the company though he's got some great YouTubes out there yeah uh, on his extractors and there's several beekeepers that uses his extractor oh yeah <laughs> and, I, and I see this is really nice touch that motor see how it feels anything a little warm it's colder than the screen over here beside oh. Wow look at this GoPro man it's just still still working that's amazing that thing was a turd for about a month there I had my foot on it 43 here. minutes no overheating that's good. I think I got enough video. All right, Baron, the boss, like, go carve something and put it on YouTube. I'll watch it.